guys, it's Andrea here. Welcome back to my channel, aka my internet home. So for today's video, we're going to be reviewing Sinoja Hair. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any more videos. Now that that's all done, let's get right into the video. So we're going to be talking about Sinoja Hair. That's the hair that I'm currently wearing. I got this hair in... Hold on, let me get the details because I actually got this hair a long time ago and I'm just now getting to this video, so. My bad! Okay, so like I was saying, this is Sinoja hair. This is a lace frontal. This is a glueless lace frontal. Um, this is body wave in 24 inches and 150 density. Y'all know I like long hair. So it's 13, you know, ear to ear, six inches of parting space. It is glueless, so it's a frontal sewn onto a dome cap. It does have adjustable straps in the back, and it has three combs, one by each ear. It has four combs, actually. My bad. It has four combs. I don't really be using the combs. I only use the one in the back by my neck. This hair is mad cute, actually. I really, I really do like this hair. I feel mad cute right now. Like, I feel mad cute right now. Like, mad, mad cute. Um, <laughs> I placed my order on April 26th. I know it's freaking June now. But I placed my order on April 26th. And I got my hair. I don't know what day I got my hair, but I feel like it did take a little long. I feel like it did take a little longer for them to deliver the hair to me just because of the pandemic. Um, so I'm gonna say it took maybe a week, maybe two weeks to get my hair. And that's not bad, like, it's not, um, that's not like, oh my god, you waited two weeks to, like, get hair. It's not, that's not a bad wait time. Usually, it's, it's just usually a lot faster. Usually, it's like a couple of days that I get my hair. It'll be like, I ordered on Tuesday, I get my hair on Thursday, something like that. You know, because of the pandemic, I might have waited at least two weeks. I believe, I really can't remember when I got my hair. I'm sorry guys, I really can't remember. So the hair came in this like really cute bag and it just says, um, Sinoja hair, love your hair, show your beauty. I love bags like this because like when I'm done wearing this wig, you know, like when I wanna like switch this wig out, I could just put it in this bag. And it's a cute bag and it's satin so I know it's not gonna damage the hair. The hair is gonna stay nice and soft. The hair isn't gonna be like dry or anything like that. Or I'm not going to have to like find a place or like find something to put the wig in. Um, you know, like when companies send you a wig in a box. It's kind of like, I'm not going to keep that box. Nor is the hair really going to do, like, nor is that really healthy for the hair. Um, but like packaging like this, packaging like um, these satin bags. It's like I can easily store my wig. And then I remember which company my hair came from. Sinoja hair goes in the Sinoja bag. I hope I'm saying that right. Sinoja hair goes in the Sinoja bag. So there is that. I've only co-washed this hair. I actually co-washed this hair yesterday. So this is kind of like the natural state of it. It's not in like that body wave state um, that like when I first got it. But I will... I don't know if I have pictures. I do have, you know what? I will insert pictures of the hair before I installed it and then the hair after I installed it because I did go in and pluck it. I went in and um, I plucked the hairline a bit. I did not bleach the knots. I just um, took a foundation brush, one of my foundation brushes, and I just, you know, brushed it onto the lace and onto my wig cap. I did not, uh, this is actually a glueless install. So if you guys want to see that, tell me down in the comments. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Future Andrea, right? And I just wanted to let you guys know, like, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're doing. I don't, I really don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. I don't. So like, hit the subscribe button. Ding, ding. Make it go like ding, ding. Hit, this, hit the notification bell too. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. Appreciate you. What else can I say about this hair? So the hair was really soft, obviously. I told you I washed it yesterday. I just co-washed it. I didn't wash it with shampoo or anything like that. I just um, took my, I think it's Garnier. I feel like I'm pronouncing so many things. Like I'm mispronouncing so many words right now. Is it Garnier? What is that called? Conditioner, conditioner. Y'all know what conditioner I'm talking about. That, that one, Garnier Fructis or whatever. 
or is it or is it like L'Oreal? No, L'Oreal is a makeup company. So I just washed it with that. Um, there is a way that I do deep condition my wigs. If you guys want a video on that, let me know in the comments. Um, so this hair is really soft, as you can see. And like the shedding for this hair is like very minimal. Like I just, I got one strand right now. You can't, you can barely see that one strand. But I just got like, it's normal shedding. It's nothing... It, it, I've had some hair that shed and it'd be like shed but it's it's normal shedding it's nothing crazy whatsoever so customer service I didn't necessarily speak to um, anybody at Sonoja or anything like that I bought this hair with my own money yeah I bought this hair with my own money and whatnot so all of these opinions are of my own and nobody's paying me to tell me that I like their hair not saying that people do that but I'm just letting you know um, I didn't necessarily speak to them, I just only got... Yeah, no, I didn't speak to them whatsoever, so I'm not really sure how is customer service, because I just haven't spoken to them. So, for a uh, glueless body wave lace front wig, oh, they say that their hairline is pre-plucked, I plucked it some more. Um, and it came with like little baby hairs, like in the front, I just cut that and I cut in some more baby hairs or whatever. But for 24 inches, 150 density, a 13 by 6 frontal, cost me $180.30. That's actually not bad at all because there are people out here selling lace front wigs for like $300. For like 12 inches. So I think that this hair is rather affordable. It's not like, it's not the cheapest hair on the market, but it's definitely not the most expensive. Like you're obviously not gonna get a 24 inch, 13 by six frontal virgin human hair body wave for $30. In 150 density, you're not gonna get that for $30. That's, that's, that's not what this hair is. Um, this is hair that I can curl up. This is hair that I can wash. I can dye. I can bleach. I can blow dry. I can air dry. I've I've done most of these things. I haven't. I've washed this hair. I've curled this hair. I've straightened this hair, um, and it's still holding up. It still looks just as good as it did when I first got it. It's not synthetic hair. Like synthetic hair would burn and like synthetic hair, once that hair is like that, that's what that hair is like. If you got a straight synthetic wig, you only have a straight synthetic wig because you cannot curl that synthetic wig. With, like you can't take a flat iron and curl it, you know? For a human hair wig, I think this is affordable. But that's just me. If y'all don't agree with me, that's okay. Um, yeah, but I think that's it. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can watch me slay in real life and real time. Not just on YouTube. If you didn't get to at the beginning of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you don't miss any more videos. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.